Hi, I'm Susan, and uh, we've been working uh, in the Bali Gospel Festival this past week. We've been interviewing the people in their homes. Every night after people come up on the stage and testify, they've been testifying of their healing. We've been taking their names and addresses, coming right into their homes, visiting right in their homes or wherever they may be, and just learning more about exactly what happened to them, hearing the full testimony from each one of them. My name is Ibu Rosa, and this is my daughter Keiko, and she's four years old. We took her to the festival for the first time a year and a half ago because she had an infection in her heart and her lungs. Her right side was swollen, and she was very sick. When I brought her to the festival a year ago, I was actually kind of scared. I was thinking to myself, here I am bringing my daughter out, who's already sick and has a high fever. I'm bringing her out at night to an open field in the rain. What am I doing? This is stupid. I could make her even more sick, but I knew that I had to take her to the festival. At that point, my daughter was near death. My husband was at work in Japan at the time, but he would always tell me, don't worry, everything's going to be all right. God's not going to call her yet. She'll make it through this. That night a year ago, when Pastor Peter invited those who had been healed to come to the front, people were saying to me, go to the front. And actually, I went to the front believing that she had been healed. But the doctors looked at her and said she was still so sick and so hot. They told me there's no hope she's not healed. But I knew in my heart that she was. When I brought her to the field, I said to God, God, don't take her away. Don't call her to heaven. But if you do, at least let her be in my arms when she goes while I'm bringing her to you. So all I could do was hold her up in the field and just place her into God's hands. A year ago, my daughter was in critical condition and weighed only seven kilos. She needed a heart transplant because she had three holes in her heart. She had such a high fever from the infections that the doctor said there was no hope. After the festival, we believed that she had been healed. Afterwards, we brought her back to the doctor and at that point, she started to cough. The doctor said, oh, this is nothing more than a cough with phlegm. We knew that the infections were gone and she had been healed. Last night when I brought my daughter to the festival again, the doctors at the field checked her completely and announced that her heart was working normally. You know, just everybody look up here. I am enjoying listening to this story so much. You know, this is our third festival in Bali in two years. I, I have never gone three years in a row like that to any place in the whole world. I, 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 but so, so this is special to me because last year this miracle happened. But now you can really see the difference a year later oh I, I think I've been to Bali so much I'm almost Balinese I want to say thank you I'm so touched and I'm so thankful and I know that all we've gone through with all these sicknesses on my own I would never have had enough strength but I have Jesus who is truly amazing in my life He's so wonderful, and I'm so thankful that He has healed my daughter. I've seen miracles, and the miracles are real. This healing is the biggest thing in my life. It's been a great experience and just seeing how this festival year after year people have been healed and telling their families till families had come from other islands to come just to this event and it also received healing. Uh, people from all different religions, from every different kind of religion, from different places all over Indonesia. The impact has been huge and it has been amazing just to experience this, hear the different testimonies and see lives that have truly been touched and changed by this. Thank you, partners, for making the Bali Gospel Festival possible.